Hi, Caroline Carney here at Colleen Arts, and I'm standing with Brian Hallis uh, with his beautiful piece that will be in our jury show that runs from March 17th through the end of May. Brian, can you tell us about your piece? Sure. Um, it's a piece entitled, and I hope I get this right, <laughs> Giardinaggio d'Avanguardia Quarante, which is Avant Gardening 40. Um, I tend to go for Italian names because they sound a lot nicer, than <laughs> except for the Italians. Um, it's a picture of a rose that I happened to catch while Ed was finding pollen. Um, it is, I, I am not positive, I think it's from where I work because I work in a, 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 um, a nursery. Oh, oh, okay. So I get a lot of my flowers there, and I get a lot awesome. of my flowers at home because my partner um, has an amazing wildflower strip. So, I'm so jealous of that because I'm terrible with it, but I um, love flowers. But it's great, yeah. yeah. And so um, what I uh, do is I just snap pictures all day long, even mm -hmm. when I'm at work, and um, then I process them in my iPhone. Mm -hmm. um, usually they're layers, mm -hmm. um, and actually this was probably a fresh flower. Mm -hmm. And what I do is I tend to, what I do tends to age them mm -hmm. like really quickly, yeah. <laughs> faster than they're probably happy with, but in any case, uh, so that for some reason you see the kind of uh, end in the beginning. Yeah, that makes and, sense. Um, and it's like a time elapse. Exactly. Like within one picture. Exactly, yeah. that's a good way to put it, thank you. And um, it also has picked up this sort of classical feeling or look yeah. to it, um, actually, which others were more aware of by looking at them than I was at the yeah. time, because I love how people can point these things out to you. Yeah. It's like, oh, that's what it is. Um, and um, it was uh, part of a dual show I did at Shishama. Okay. I, I did, uh, included it in that, and it was sort of... Um, the meme of the show, in a sense, because it was about bees. It was yeah. called Dreaming oh, Bees. Oh, that's so great. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I, I shared the bill with a friend of mine, and we did it all about how bees perceive the world yeah. and what we're doing to them. Which is terrible. Which is terrible. So he deserved it. He yes. or she. <laughs> he or she deserved it. They deserved it. They deserved it. Are, they the star of the show. What I think is so interesting about this is because of the way that you said you age it and you work in layers, it really gives it such depth. So you have everything from the deepest shadows in the leaves to the light touching the edges mm -hmm. and surrounding around the roses, uh, which uh, really guides your eye through it, which is something that uh, I think is engaging in a lot of pieces. And one of the reasons I think that you always need to see art in person is because like your That's eye hard. takes a different journey when you're right up close to it. Um, I think the way that the edges come in are so beautiful too. It fascinates me that yeah. it that, yes. And uh, which is something that's interesting because in real life you might see the flower is kind of curling, tilting at the edges, but you don't always observe, like you can't always see that in a lot of pictures. Right, right, and so yeah. that you have really made these edges uh, they're soft, but they you can feel the curl in them. Uh -huh. is really fascinating. There's a sense of like rigidity already yeah. in them. Yeah, it makes Cause, it because it hardens. Yeah, from the outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, that's really beautiful. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. How did you How did you start doing this? Uh, this uh, just style? generally, like how How did oh, you? Geez. Um, I, I as you know, I was a sound designer yeah. for a long time in theater, and. Um, to me, I could always see sound. So, visuals. It's right, 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 right. And it's so, so, so um, experimenting in other forms, too. Mm -hmm. It was avant garde theater, it was, you know, big, mm -hmm. large multimedia. Mm -hmm. And um, so, there's all these elements all the time. Yeah. And um, so, I would pick up a camera and just start. Mm -hmm. Shooting things. Most of it, I started shooting signs. Uh, oh, okay. You know, just signs everywhere, and then slowly moved around. And mostly, what I tend to shoot are things that are right in front of me that I would normally tend to overlook. Yeah. So that a I lot you of did something with water too. Yes. Right? Yeah. And, and uh, right. And uh, and uh, I had a 
when I lived in Belmar, I had a shelf outdoors that just rotted away, and I just like thrown up a bat. That's so interesting. So things You're like into, that. I think this makes so much sense. Like also as like sound designer, because you a lot of times with like sound, you're like processing how sound moves over time. Yes, yes, and yes. It seems like that's something you're interested in this too. Uh, and, yes. and the way that nature and art interact. Absolutely, and how we trade that back and forth. Yeah. Because what we do gets affected by nature, which we then affect, which then affects. Yeah. Them, you know, so. I think that it's interesting because we always talk about nature as if nature is something that exists outside of ourselves, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we're actually elementally, mm -hmm. we are nature. Yes. And uh, yeah. <laughs> like, okay. which I think is really funny. Um, and I think that one of the things that's, not everybody will enlarge a flower to this point or pieces of nature to this point. And it gives you like a very, nice perspective because you're inspecting something that in some ways is common in our everyday life even though we appreciate its beauty but you're taking the moment so that we can absorb it and kind of process it in its pieces and as a whole and maybe not uh, and maybe look at it somewhat differently because of that concentration yeah because you're really forced to look you're right I, yeah I, I wouldn't necessarily have said that myself but it is true as you said it <laughs> that you know, you are you're drawn to it, so you're now looking at it differently than you ordinarily might be as you're just walking by. Yeah. Um, I you know, I shoot a lot of things. A lot of it's on the ground. Oh you know, yeah. And whatever you know. There's another. Uh, there's a ceramicist who's showing here now, and she says that she always looks at the ground because she's looking for nature's discarded beauties. So, which I, I Detritus think can be a beautiful thing. Yeah, I can. I can. So. Um, it stood me well. Yeah, I can 100% agree. Like, you know, one man stretches another yeah, man right, stretches. Precisely. You know, <laughs> and and that, I get the looks too when I'm down. Like, <laughs> I stop the entire crowd. Because I so, well, this is beautiful. Thank and, you so much. I really appreciate it. And we hope that everyone comes to see it mm. at Palais Arts from March 17th through the end of May. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you.